Welcome to Oakwood's Facebook Live paint tutorial. So you guys are gonna paint with me today or just watch me paint. Um, if you are at home and you wanna paint along, go ahead and grab a canvas or maybe a board, um, some paint brushes, and if you wanna go ahead and prep your canvas with the background pink like I did, you can do that. And then just kinda catch up, try to paint along. I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do today. We have 30 minutes and this is what I'm calling Candy Mountain. So I'm just going to show you what we are going to be getting ourselves into. Okay, so I was inspired to paint this painting from a trip that I took with one of my best friends, uh, Lynn, in Sedona. So the Sedona Red Rocks super beautiful super awesome so i'm gonna put this away and then we're gonna make some mountains okay put that right there okay let me get my palette and what we're gonna do is start with some black paint so i'm gonna get some black paint right there and we're gonna go right in and kind of outline our mountain line Start right over here. And I'm just gonna start at the edge of my canvas. And we're gonna go all the way over here. We're gonna go up, make like a little red rock right there. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys, because we're going to be layering a lot of paint over top of this to, to find some special effects. I'm gonna go down here, we make a little mountain there. And we're gonna come up here, put a little mountain in right there, this little guy. Whoop! Right there. Then I'm also gonna put a little mountain on the edge. See if we can see that on the camera. Right there. Maybe move that over a little bit. I'm actually gonna make this guy a little bit taller. Bring him up right there. Okay. All right, and then we're also going to put a little piece in right there next to this mountain. Okay, so it might look kind of crazy and messy right now, but what we're going to do is just make a silhouette. So we're going to go ahead on in and we're going to paint this entire area black. So we're going to get all black in here. Do, 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 do. I believe this is the first time that I've ever painted without music. So this is a new experience. It's all in there. And guys, if you are painting along at home and you do want to try to make some uh, candy mountains or red rock, if you will, for this step, I'm going to suggest using a large brush, really nice, soft, flexible, large brush. black and I'm pretty heavy-handed with paint not sure if you can tell by looking at the camera but I'm going to need some more black get some more black right here one more black on my palette guys if you do want to try this while you're watching this now at home and you didn't prep the back pink that's okay you can still practice your mountains and just go ahead and put your silhouette right on the canvas that you have or whatever surface you might want to paint on. If you literally have nothing, you could even try the lid of a pizza box, a cardboard, anything you can find. Furniture. All right. I'm gonna to try to speed this up a little. So we have about 30 minutes to make some magic happen. Put this all in there. All this black on there. Right, so we have our background. We have our pink sunset. And our mountains are being born. Here they are. Right in there. And I'm actually running out of black again. So I'm gonna get a little more black. More black on my palette. Right there. 
come right over here. Right. Got a little paint on the table, but that's all right. We can always clean it up later. Right, so we're gonna go in here and get this pretty solid. It's okay if it's not perfect and you can see some of the colored canvas coming through because that'll just add texture layer because later because we're going to be doing so many different layers of paint and adding a lot of color. All right, so let's look at this. Dun, 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 dun. And actually, I'm going to make this mountain go up a little bit because it seems a little bit flat. That right there, got this little mountain friend right there. Okay, and bring this guy up, bring it over, this guy. All right, let's see what we got so far. So I'm gonna bring this a little bit closer just to show you the step that we were working on. So as you can see right now, it just looks like kind of a black blobby silhouette. And that's what we want, okay? First step right there. Get that back in line so you guys can see that. Okay, so we are going to pick out our mountain colors, which I already have prepared for us. So let's talk about that for a minute. I have orange. What is that? It's like a harvest orange, a sunny yellow. And I have a lot of pinks. So I'm gonna be using the same pinks for the mountain as I use for the sky. So we have kind of a light pink, a medium pink, and a pink parfait, it's kind of like a hot pink. Okay, so I'm going to put all of those pinks on my palette because I like to have lots of choices and um, have my palette nice and loaded up. I'm ready to paint. So we're gonna get pink, get this hot pink, and Light pink. Get that guy out of there right there. All right, and orange. So I want you guys to see this orange. Check out, ooh, it looks different on camera. It is pretty bright, there we go. That is a harvest orange. So anyone living in Arizona, I'm sure has seen how beautiful uh, Sedona mountains are and actually red red rock formations all right we're gonna get some yellow okay and we're gonna go in for it okay so I put my paintbrush down and I'm going to start by using this palette knife um, this one is amazing it's a plastic one it's pretty flexible I have all different kinds that I can use but we're gonna try to go ahead and use this one Okay, and I'm gonna go straight in and start adding some orange in here, okay? So I'm just gonna do a little bit of orange and then a fun technique that you guys can try. It's like marbling, you can kind of put one color on one side of your palette. We have orange and then you can put a little bit of pink and get kind of a cool effect down there. So we're just gonna have fun with this. They said if you're practicing at home, just go for it. Um, with mountains, you kind of push and pull the whole time and you're never really sure exactly what you're gonna get until the end when they start coming to life. So up close, it might look kind of crazy and wild, but once you really start to get into it and you take a couple steps back from your mountains, um, they look pretty incredible. All right, so we're gonna get some orange over here. And I'm just gonna go down here and just kind of slap on this paint. All right, get some red over there in this area. Ooh, look at that pink. That looks pretty cool. Some pink down in there. All right, this over here. See what this is looking like. Ooh, looks pretty neat on camera so far. All right, we're gonna go up to this guy over here. Get a little more pink. Guys, I'm just gonna start smudging this on. So think about direction. 
So this is kind of laying like the groundwork. This is our ground. And depending on what you're going for, sometimes you can create a little path or a little nook. Sometimes you might have certain intentions with your mountains and they actually start to take on a whole other form that you didn't even intend to do. Kind of like Bob Ross would say, a happy accident. And I totally understand what he's talking about. All right, so we're gonna get our color in there. We'll get some pink and orange. Ooh, look at that. Woo! That guy in there. Do, 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 do. You guys, this is fun. All right, we're gonna get him in there. Bring that down. So now this mountain is kind of coming over in front of this guy. And then this part goes behind this mountain over there. Bring that down. Make some little scrapes in the canvas. Pull the paint down here. It's really having, having a lot of fun with this. It's like taking, taking your paints on a little journey. All right, so I'm gonna step back for a minute and look at this. All right, it's getting there. So I wanna add a little bit of pink right here to this mountain because we just have some orange. Add a little bit of pink. Kind of matches our sky a little bit. Bring this down. Put a little more pink over here. That's where these mountains are. Ooh, really charcoaly mountains. All right. So I'm gonna wipe my palette brush off a little bit and I'm gonna dive into some sunny yellow. And we're gonna put some highlights on the mountains, kind of try to think about where the sun would be shining. And I'm gonna say that the sun is coming from this direction. So we're gonna go over here and we're just gonna whoop, 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 whoop. I have to make weird noises, it's just a thing. And over here, whoop. Ooh, that's fun. All right guys, our candy mountains are coming to life. We still have plenty of time, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna go over here as you can see, I want to show you, I really have my palette loaded up with paint. And there's a little swirl of pink in there, and that's okay. It doesn't matter. We want to see different colors on there. Have that little marbling effect. I'm just going to pull this over. A little highlight. This guy looks like he's going down there. Ooh. These are some crazy mountains over here and let's not forget about this guy over in the corner right there that reflection okay I'm gonna stand back and check this out okay so you can see where we're going Woo. yeah these mountains are definitely a little chunkier than my than the one I showed you guys in the beginning it's okay all mountains and rocks are different, right? Get that over there. And just kind of play with the paint a little bit. You do want to be careful if you play with it too much. You might get uh, like a muddy effect where all the colors run together. So just be mindful of pushing and pulling your color. And just take your time and really try to think about what you're doing. Okay, so there's a lot of paint on here right now. So what I'm gonna do is get a clean palette and then I'm gonna scrape in certain areas so we can get some more texture. Okay, so, oh, there's so many. This palette knife, this is a super nice one, kinda looks like a shovel. I'm gonna take that and we're gonna go in here and let's just see what happens. I'm just gonna scrape a little off. Back a little bit, can you guys see that? And I'm gonna go over here and just make a little bit of scrapes. Like that. And you can always put more paint on if you scrape too much off. A little bit of scrapies over there. Pull this down over here. So you guys are really playing with color, paint, texture. There's a lot of different techniques going on here. So if you like to paint and do a whole bunch of things at once, you should try to paint mountains. Okay. 
and my mountains always come out different. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go in and get a little more yellow. So I'm gonna put a little more of a highlight right here on the edge. Just like that. It's nice and creamy and smooth. Get a little more yellow right there. So if you, if you guys are interested in actually making a painting like this, like Candy Mountains, uh, we are going to be having paint classes um, and paint nights, pandemic paint nights while you're at home. Uh, we're gonna figure out all the supplies that you will need to have and we should have um, advertisements up for that soon. So stay tuned so you guys can take some paint classes from us at home, it'll be really fun. Okay, so I'm gonna go back over here, get some of that, scrape off my brush. And I'm actually gonna add some yellow highlight over here, and I'm just gonna pull this down. Okay, and don't be afraid to really scrape your canvas if you feel like it, if you want. I'm gonna pull this paint over like that. So, stand back and check this out. Looking pretty fun. All right, I'm gonna get some orange, and I'm just going to go in here, on this side, put some orange right there, fill in this dark spot right there. So you guys, so far away, the black that we put down for our silhouette mountain kind of gives us a lot of definition. Ooh, looks fun. I'm actually gonna add some more pink at the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this bright pink show you my palette. A lot going on. Okay, so I'm gonna get some of this pink. Some pink down here. And we're just gonna scrape that on the bottom. Ooh. Ooh. Super fun. Put some in this direction. Maybe this can head up here a little bit. These little smudges in here there. Candy Mountains, guys, it's happening. Okay, bring some over here on the edges, and let's see where we're at. All right, so we only have till 12.30, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna put our cactus right into the painting because I could play with these mountains all day, literally. Okay, so I'm gonna set this down and we're gonna work on our mountain. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put our cactus in there the same way that we put the mountains in. Okay, so I'm gonna get some black and we're gonna make a silhouette. I'm going to get a different brush than I use for the mountains. So let's get, this one looks good. Okay, so I'm kind of using this like pointier, medium, medium largest brush, medium brush. Okay, so I wanna put my cactus in, try to lean back so you guys can see. Maybe I'll just put this up a little bit like that. I'm gonna put our cactus in right here, okay? And really, this is your painting. If you're painting at home, you can put your cactus wherever you want, but I'm really gonna put mine right there. And I'm gonna start them up right about here. We're gonna go all the way down. I'm gonna stop right there. Okay, whoop. I'm gonna just pull this guy all the way down. Right about there. Give him some arms. Bring one in. Kinda wanna put like a little extra one right there. Like I did in my first painting. And then we're gonna bring this up here. All the way up to the top. Bring that down. Okay. Oh, no. He looks pretty cute, what do you think? All right, let's look at that. Woo! We got our little cacti. Okay, let's go in there, I'm actually I'm just gonna put some little marks right around there. Get where it is on the ground. Okay, we're getting into this. So, okay. I'm gonna use two greens. I'm gonna use this lighter green, but I mean, depending on how many greens you guys have, I would use 
a darker and a lighter. So let's just look at these real quick. I don't know if you can see that color sort of. And then this one's gonna go over top of the dark green on the cactus. This is like a lime tree. Okay. We use whatever, whatever green you like. Okay, so we're gonna get our greens right here on the palette. Green, green, green. Come on, green. It's working. All right, so we got a little bit of green. There we go. And we want some lime green. Let's put him on the palette too. Ooh, look at that green. Okay, I'm excited. And now we're gonna switch palette knives. Look at this cute little guy. Boop. We're gonna use him. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, so we're gonna get some of that darker green right there. Okay, let's load it up. And I'm just gonna go in nice and gentle and whoop, whoop. you can make noises and be weird if you want. I have to. I'm just gonna whoop, go all the way down. Let's see what that looks like. You guys can probably see it starting to pop. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that over here on the arms with my palette knife. I'm just gonna go in, almost like making little scratchy dots. So I'm just gonna go to the side a little bit and it's gonna give us some extra texture. Bum, ba, dum, ba, dum, bum, 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 bum. And here. And the last little mini baby arm, right there. And this guy. All right, so we have our dark green on the cacti. It's coming to life. Okay, so I'm just gonna wipe that off with my fingers. And we're gonna dip into this limey, super cool lime green. Ooh, look at that color. Can you see it? Okay, it's very bright. So we're gonna go in right over top of the green that we just put on and we're just gonna touch it. We're just gonna give it a little tickle. We're just gonna get in there and whoop, all the way down. We're moving fast, guys. Let me see how much time we have. Hmm, still have some time. All right, we're gonna go in here. Look at this line. Ooh all the way around and it is crazy painting without music i could make my own music but i'm not much of a singer okay you go over here so i'm just going to stick with making weird noises and you go over there and over here Woo! he's looking cute okay this is getting good so i'm going to show you a trick all right, so we have our little cacti there nice and highlighted. And then I got different color paint all over my fan brush because my fingers are messy. It was clean. Okay, so we're going to take a fan brush. Hopefully yours is cleaner than mine. Let's take a look at this little buddy. There he is. This is a fan brush. So what I'm gonna do with my fan brush is I'm just gonna dip it in the light green and the dark green. Boop, 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 boop. And I'm even gonna get a little bit of black. Okay, so I have three different colors going on there. See that? And we're gonna create some pretty cool effects. <gasps> Hi, Lydia. My best friend is watching, I'm excited. Okay, so we're gonna go in here and we are going to make some little grass marks. So three different colors, and we're just gonna kind of play around. And once again, guys, if you want to try this, you can take your time. You don't have to do it in a half an hour. But that is the time we're doing it today. So if you can do this in a half an hour, then you're probably amazing and very talented. We're just gonna get some stuff over there. 
Get a little bit of stuff in the corner. Okay. So we could put in a back mountain, which we did in the first piece um, that I showed you guys. It's like the, the faded purple mountain in the background. So it's like the furthest one away. So you can do that in like a super light purple. Contemplating if we have time. Let's take a look at that. Let's see the difference. So this is the one that I did previously. You can see the mountain in the background. It's kind of dreamy, kind of hazy. Hmm. Okay, so we have five minutes. All right, let's just do it. Okay, I'm gonna do this as fast as I can. Okay, so I have two purples. And we're going in for it. So I have a light, light purple that's almost like a light gray purple and one that's slightly darker. We'll put both of those on the canvas. And then we go in with a brush. Okay, I'm gonna take this brush. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, so we're gonna go in. And we're gonna go up like this. Oops, we're just gonna go in there. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in the background. Little teeny tiny peeking through this guy over here, just a little, little, little mountain in the back. Little mini mountain in the back. Just a little peekaboo. And we're gonna go over here. We're gonna have him sticking out in the corner. Maybe he goes up behind this guy. And we're gonna paint him in. Get in there. Get him in, get him in. This is a mountain race. Race to the mountain in 30 minutes. Okay, so we have this guy. Ooh, we're just gonna go for it. Go, go, go. Put this in there, paint this guy. Get him on in there. Right behind the cactus. Get him in. So we're sneaking this in. You can always put the purple mountain in before your cacti, but we decided to be spontaneous and sneak him in in the background and he's just real fast and he's real little. We're gonna get him in there. Ooh, he's getting in that little crack. We're going. Get this little guy right there, right there. Ooh, we're making good time. I think I have a couple minutes. Throw in this little dude right in there. We got him. And... Okay, bring that down. That little guy in there. All right, it's kind of blobby. Oh, let's actually bring him up. Let's bring him up right like that. Bring him up a little bit over here behind this guy. Okay, now I'm gonna grab a super tiny palette knife. We're gonna do a quick trick. Okay, so let's find that little teeny mini guy. Little teeny mini guy. Thank you. Oh, we'll use this one. Okay, we're gonna use this palette knife. I'm gonna wipe it off. We're gonna go into our mountain that we snuck in there, uh, our spontaneous last minute mountain. And I'm gonna go in there with this really light, dreamy purple. And I'm just gonna pull it down a little bit. We're gonna pull some colors. I'm actually gonna mix a little bit of paint in there. I'm gonna pull him down. And give a couple little scraping effects. Whoop, whoop. And bring him down over here. Give that guy a little bit of background texture. Right over there. Okay. A little bit of a little bit of texture right there. Alright guys, our mini mountain looks like he's in there pretty good. He's in there pretty good. All right, we got him. He's in, he's staying there. We are almost finished. I think we are finished. We're finished. Okay, so that was your 30 minute tutorial on our pink mountain scape. So it's very fast, super fun, pushing and pulling. Um, you can see we did like the little grass effect. Woo, our cacti is on fire. It is glowing, looks pretty fun. So if you are painting at home, um, please always sign your piece. I usually like to sign on the 
the right hand side right there um, but sometimes the other side the left might be calling to you so whichever whatever your little heart desires sign on that side and then um, title your piece so I hope you guys enjoyed my paint tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, you can comment down below and keep checking back um, at Oakwood because we're gonna have painting videos by myself and by our other house artist, Adam Jackson. And we're also going to be showing you guys all kinds of awesome demos. So support us, love us, watch us, and that's it.